So hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be sewing together these designs and I decided to make the four of them into a circle. If you recall there's a video on this it's I need a good design new this month February 20 22nd and it's called paper piece floral so you might want to check out that video. So what we want to do is the focal point of putting these together is making sure that these two match. So before I do anything, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of doing it. Now what I'm going to do here, you guys can see really well, is I'm going to match it up. So I'm going to totally match it up. I'm not 100% worried about the rest of it, but... I'm going to match those up and I want it to be perfect. I'm going to grab a tulip pink pin and I'm just going to hold it just like that. So what I'm going to do, I have my joining foot right on here. So it has that little piece in the middle and you can zoom in there. And all I want to do is just secure this down. Now it doesn't really matter where it uh, goes you don't have to be inside the lines or anything but we just want this to not move so i'm just going to go ahead and do a few stitches just to hold it and trim with my foot pedal and let's see how we did i'm going to take the pin out and I think that's pretty good. Now the, the fun of this is that if you didn't get it right on, there's only a few stitches to uh, get rid of. So now we're going to do our usual pinning and let's do that. So corner, you guys will get used to this. It's actually, once you do it enough times, it's pretty easy to do. And we want the corners matched up, so we're going to do one corner. And we're going to do the other corner, just in exactly the same way. Make sure everything's lined up properly. And we'll double check everything before we sew it. Next is to line up the outside line. So we're going to put a pin in it and we'll do this one and it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along. And we know this one's lined up and it looked like the lines were pretty good as well. So I just moved it just a tiny bit and I'm going to put a pin in it. And then we're going to sew it. So I am going to open it up to double check because I want to make sure these lines match. And it's pretty good. Not exactly on. I'm going to do the corners again. They were slightly off and we don't want it to be. So look under your glasses and make the corners match. These are lines again. So this is the outside line and this one it's hard to see because all the bobbins white but this is the cut line you can see it better right there the cut line for the batting. Now we don't want to sew outside of this line because it's going to show when we turn it I keep putting the pins in my mouth and I shouldn't do that. So let's take the corner, do it like we normally do, right in the corner and right in the corner and one pin and grab another one. And there we go. And then we can go to the middle, which is pretty much our pretty much our middle satin stitches. 
And look, you can see it really well, hopefully. Yes, you can see it really well that we want them to line up. Now we want the lines to line up too, so you might have to move just a little bit to make it work. Take your time. Make sure you hold it nice and tight once you get it. And uh, pop a pin in. Now, if you got it really well done, then you might want to put two pins in. I'm just going to do the one just to see. And let's do in between because we really want this one to be good, good, good. Easy peasy. I think I like this method better. You can also feel the edge of the batting to help you line it up. So as always, I'm just going to take a big look, a quick look rather, and my lines line up just dandy. So let's do this. So again, I have my uh, joining foot, I guess it's called, and I am going to put my foot down, putting my foot down, and I'm going to take out this pen, and the foot's holding it nicely, and let's uh, zoom in, and I'll try to make sure my other hand's not in the way, and we're following this line again it's probably hard for you guys to pick it out but that's what it is i just did a little backup just for security and i'm going to put my pins where i usually do when i'm doing small things just there we go okay so now just going slowly and again this middle part is lining up with the line that i want which is going to ensure that the other lines aren't going to show up, show through. So I'm going to pull out this pin and I'm really going to hold this down really well because I really want it to match up. So there we go. I like that. Take out this pin, hold everything, keep yourself lined up. And while I'm stitching, I am focusing now on the middle part really a helpful foot. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it this way because it's a joining foot, but I like it. Okay, and rewind a little bit with my foot and trim. Put my foot up and look at that beauty. That's It's still a tiny bit off, but once I get ironing, I can maneuver it around. Isn't that fantastic? I really like that. Still a little bit off, but, you know, I think when you look at it, it's not that bad. So we'll see. I think it's better than the first one I did. For sure. That one seems really off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can quick fix it. Um, so I don't really want to take out all of the stitches. So let's see if I can do this. This sometimes works. It's worth a shot before you rip everything out, right? That's all. So you got to make sure you get the right one and be careful you don't uh, rip your fabric. You just want to get those stitches that you just put in. Uh, stitch rippers are pretty or seam rippers, whatever they're called. I just always say stitch ripper. Uh, they're pretty sharp, so you do want to be careful. Okay, so after taking my time off camera, I got this little part opened. So I should be able to match this up better, better and better. So let's try that. Okay, so I have everything pinned and I'm going to put my foot down and I'm going to, it's a little bit messy here. I'm going to make sure I'm following the correct line. Try to keep everything as straight as you can. I left the pins in. I'm just going very slowly so I won't break anything. And cut. And then take my pins out. Fingers crossed. 
the fix worked. Look at that. Perfect. So if you sew everything together and it doesn't quite work perfectly, that's a quick fix. So now what we've got to do is pin all these together. And on this one, we want to match these parts up and we want to match the seams up. And if I do it right, it should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that the same way that we've always done. So we're going to do corners first. So one corner here, one corner there. That helps keep everything straight so you're not pulling on the fabric quite as much. So one, get it through everything. There we go. That should be good. Not worrying about the, the middle or anything yet. That looks particularly good, I think. You guys probably can't see through my hands. So now we're going to match up the center. We're going to match up the center here and we're matching up the lines that, you know, the sew lines and the stitch lines. So the way I do it, and I should have ironed, but I didn't. The way I do it is I match up one side like this and we're going to put a pin in one side through everything that did go and then I am going to match up the other side and I can see by looking in there that that matched up really well so just the the lines now so this one is good i always put pins on either side of this joining it just to me makes it easier so now on this side we've got our pins again our satin stitches and our matching so we want to that one actually fell into place quite nicely and I think we should pin around it so we don't get any movement but let's see first let's match up the other ones and now we're going to do this one and you can see it pretty much does it itself a little bit over i have to move it and match everything up hold tight because it does want to be over a smidgen and nailed it there and let's do in between so it's pretty easy once you get the hang of all this pinning it works out pretty well so now I have three points three major points that I want to line up that being the satin stitches the other satin stitches and the middle seam so let's see if we can do it so take my pin out line everything up put my foot down I'm gonna make an adjustment so the needles there not there even though that's my focal point hold everything and uh, go slowly or whatever speed you can whatever speed you're comfy with I have seen on Missouri star if you've ever watched uh, her either one of them any of them rather stitch she goes super fast well I'm not that good so I'm not going super fast so I'm gonna leave the pin in that seemed to work you just have to be really careful you can hand roll the wheel if you're worried about it. But I made it there. So hold everything down. I'm putting some tension on the, the other end of it as well. Get as close as we can, take the pin out. Very nice. 
and we're going to take this pin out very nice make sure you're lined up with the correct line so we stay perfect like that absolutely so two out of three spots are done we've got one more and again i'm going to leave the pins in and for this one for the satin stitch and i think i went a little crooked there but that's okay another pin out and the last one and take a deep breath we're gonna see if i made it you ready we still have to iron so we're not quite there yet so ready take out my two pins and let's see how we did yep look at that i don't think that's too bad at all i don't think you're ever ever gonna get it perfect uh but i think this one almost is now this one is a tiny bit off but i think once i iron it i can get it down and uh that's how you do it if you had more blocks then just keep going but i'll turn it so you can see all the connections that one's pretty good that's one of the ones we fixed this is one of the ones i just did and looking at it from this side it's pretty good and same with that one so i'm gonna go iron and then all i have to do is uh finish it but what a gorgeous design so thanks everyone for watching i hope you guys will keep practicing your sewing and taking your time and match up the focal points as well as you can and um yeah from this side it looks right off but it isn't huh awesome sorry distracted myself i'll see you guys in the next video bye thank you